reasons, you know, a bunch of reasons, you know, obviously one was as a fundraiser for the program for us to be able to compete at a higher level on a national level. We, you know, we're always looking for ways to, uh, you know, fund us on a, on a higher level. But we also kind of wanted to give our fans and our fan club an opportunity to just hang out with us for the day and uh, enjoy the beautiful weather and miss some time from work and all the good stuff. So it kind of works on both levels for us. Well, so far it's been good. We've been lucked out with the weather now 11 straight years where uh, it's been beautiful and good golfing weather. And um, I wouldn't say that I've seen a whole lot of good golf shots yet. <laughs> um, but the groups, we've had about half the groups come through and everybody seems to be having a good time and that's what it's all about. Yeah, we don't really need to talk about that. <laughs> I usually am good for about 50% of getting on the green, but I'm well below that number right now. So I'm gonna have to uh, get, get myself psyched up here for the second half of the day. My name is Lee Bolger, and I've been following the Hartford Hawks since Jen Rosati became head coach. I've been a member of the flight zone for as long as it's been in existence, which I believe is 11 years. I've, uh, today, we're uh, out here playing golf with my friends, and we're right now we're one over. And we're having a pretty decent day, and the weather's great. And we're really enjoying ourselves like we do each and every year that we've come and participated in the golf tournament. tradition here at the University of Hartford Women's Basketball Golf Outing. We had beautiful weather, yeah. so don't ever doubt. <laughs> um, but we certainly really appreciate all of you being here and spending the day with us. Um, you know it's a busy time of year. It certainly is for us. We started our preseason workouts two weeks ago, and so far so good. I haven't killed anybody yet. Um, but as Pat said, we have a, a very different look to our team this year. We're graduating um, uh, 2,000 point scorers and almost 2,000 point rebounders in Erica Beverly and Diana Delva, uh, two people, if, as you all know, who have graced the, uh, the court at the University of Hartford for four consecutive years. Um, so we will, uh, you know, with, with them missing, we'll be very young in the post, but also very exciting. Um, those of you who were watching the game last year closely know that Ruthann Duwadi was an all-rookie all team selection at the post position. Uh, also Nakia Smith, somebody who came on late in the year. Uh, we have a, a, a junior in Kiyoko Mars Garrick who should have a breakout season and of course a couple pair of lowly freshmen to add to our post depth. But I do think that our strength will be at the guard position this year. Uh, which makes it fun for us as a coaching staff. We're really excited about devising some new plays and new strategies to get our guards much more involved in our offense. Uh, we were highlighted by our uh, returning third team all-conference, Jackie Smith, who's, um, you know, in my opinion, the best point guard, true point guard we've ever had in our program, returning now as a senior. I feel really great about our leadership at the guard position. Uh, she's joined by her classmates, Mary Sylvia, and Amanda Weaver, and then of course, uh, two years ago, all rookie selection, Alicia Mathis and a junior. So you couple them with our our, our duo of sophomores, uh, Alex Hall and Daphne Elliott, and our freshman, Alyssa Angler. We're really excited about our depth, the guard position, our athleticism, and uh, the, the exciting style that they play. So uh, this will be a very exciting team, certainly one that will probably be get, get underestimated at least early in the year. But once we go out and win our first couple games, uh, there won't be anybody that's uh, doubting that the University of Hartford is right back on top this year. Um, so it'll be a fun season to watch. We hope to see you guys all out there. Um, you know, for those of you who have been to our games, you know it's a great venue to watch a basketball game. There is no bad seat in the house at the Chase Arena. 
Uh, we have a great fan base. Um, we have one of the best um, home record uh, percentages in the country. Uh, we're usually in the running for the top home court winning percentage in the country. Um, so it's a great place to watch a game when we do not lose there very often.